que eu sou fã do Commander, today we'll be talking about Materializer Lake View. Let's discover how this works. Materializer Lake View. The idea is to materialize data transformations, data transformations made using SQL language, a declarative language. So we not only make a query, but we materialize the result of the query. This makes the transformations between medallion layers very easier. We may not need anymore many notebooks or pipelines moving the data between one layer and another. We may be capable to do that with materializer like views. So the transformation becomes declarative. Of course, there will be limitations for what we can do in a declarative way, but it's a great advance for medallion architectural development. But some surprises in relation to this feature, some surprises we were not expecting. The creation is only supported in Spark SQL. We can create this directly in SQL. We need to use the Spark SQL to create a materializer like view. The updates are scheduled. These are not automatic updates. It's not a view that we create and keeps updating itself automatically. We need to schedule the update of the materializer like view. Each update will create the entire materialization, the entire view. It's always a full update. There is no support for increment update until now. This generates some consequences. We need to think about these consequences. It's better applied in gold lay. If we are regenerating the entire materialization, the entire view in bronze or silver layer, the amount of data we may have may be too huge. So regenerating everything in our executions may not scale. It's not a scalable solution. So the better application for the materializer lake views at the moment are in the gold layer. In the gold layer, we can apply the materializer lake views to build summaries. We can go by, use aggregation functions and make summaries of the data and use the summaries in our reports. Gold layers may need this kind of information, prepare for it. And another way to use them in gold layer is to focus in specific date filters. The idea is that we don't want to make a select of our entire data because the shadow of the, the fresh of the materialized view will keep regenerating the entire table and that's too much. So one option is to focus in specific date filters or focus in specific summaries. In this way, the materializer lake view in the way it is now, it's better applied in the gold layer. Let's see an example about how to use materializer lake view. Here we can see a notebook and this notebook is linked to a lake house. One detail, the lake house needs to have support with schemas. The feature of materializer lake views is included over the schemas feature. Uh, the regular lake house will not support materializer lake views. So we need a lake house with schema support. That's why last week we had a video about schemas in lake houses. Now, I'm creating a materializer lake view. This materializer lake view is being created over a table called Fact say, and I'm making a group by and making a calculation, a sum of total include taxes, total sales. This is very simple, even silly, but is an example about how we can create the materializer lake view. Let me execute. And that's it, the materializer lake view is created and after the creation it gives us some information about the view itself, about the creation of the view. Let's take a look on the, this view on the SQL endpoint. I'm looking to the SQL analytics endpoint of this lake house. 
Let me refresh. I created the view inside the silver schema, but it will not be on the views, it will be as a table. The fact summary is a materialized lake view, but it doesn't appear as a view for the SQL endpoint. For the SQL endpoint is a table because it's materialized. And in this way, we can query this table. We can make a select over this materialized table. So we have a materialized lake view. Now, let's take a look on the lake house view. I'm on the SQL endpoint view. Now I will take a look on the lake house view in this same lake house. A new button appears. This new button is Manage Materialized Lake View. It's in preview, of course, this is a preview feature. Using this button, I can visualize what are the materialized lake views in this lake house. And I can control the configuration of these materialized lake views. Fact summary, for example, the view I just created. I can shadow the refresh of this view. So, I can turn on the shadow and choose how I would like the, to make the refresh of this view. By minute, hourly, daily, and so on. In this way, I can define, for example, that I would like to make the refresh on every hour. My materializer lake view is scheduled to make a refresh every hour. Every hour, the view will be built again. There is one problem in this shadow. This shadow makes us believe this shadow is specific for this view. In fact, it isn't. It isn't specific for this view. If we take a look on the other view, because I have two materialized lake views in this lake house. If I open the shadow, I can see the shadow is the same. The configuration of the shadow is absolutely the same. So, the shadow of refresh is not for one materialized view, it's for all materialized views. This is the shadow that we control in the lake house level. However, if I get back to the notebook, we can take a look that I have an option to make a refresh in one materialized view. I can order a refresh in one specific materialized view. In this way, I can control individual refreshes for materialized views. And I can drop the view at any moment. Microsoft is promising the incremental refresh soon. And this will change the best practice related to materialized lake view. I recommend the best practice to using gold layers with filters and grouping. But once the incremental refresh is available, this best practice changes and you'll be able to use this feature for the entire medallion, medallion architecture. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.